aqui, estou deixando esse vídeo gravado, hoje é dia 22 de novembro de 2022, eu estou aqui na Catar, comprada para ir para Doha e de Doha voltar para o Brasil, e simplesmente a aeromoça da Catar disse que eu não posso embarcar, porque eu sou muito gorda e eu não, não tenho direito a essa passagem. Eu paguei mil dólares na minha passagem, seis mil reais na minha passagem. Estou eu, a minha mãe, meus, minha, minha irmã e meu sobrinho. Nós, nós pagamos quatro mil dólares por essas passagens. E agora ela simplesmente se nega a me dar as passagens e a me deixar embarcar no voo para Doha e de lá para São Paulo, porque eu sou gorda. Porque eu sou gorda e não posso embarcar. Agora, o que, que eu vou fazer? Eles, eles querem, eles estão negando o direito de eu viajar, sendo que eu vim até aqui, eu vim de Air France normal, não tive nenhum problema e agora eles estão me negando a minha passagem. Eu vou mostrar para vocês as pessoas que estão fazendo isso. Eles estão exigindo que eu compre uma passagem executiva para ir embora para o meu país, sendo que, sendo que eu vim de passagem normal. Gente, eu estou desesperada, me ajudem. Eu estou desesperada. Eles não querem que eu embarque, eles não querem. Eles não querem que eu embarque, porque eu sou gorda e eu tenho que comprar uma passagem business. A passagem business custa 3 mil dólares. 3 mil dólares, eu não tenho 3 mil dólares. Eu não tenho, eu não tenho 3 mil dólares, eu não sei o que fazer. Eu não sei o que fazer, falta meia hora para o avião embarcar e eles não querem que eu embarque. Eles estão dizendo que eu não tenho direito de subir no avião porque eu sou gorda. Eu não sei o que Boom. So, you see in the video, I'm sure you read what was said below in the subtitles in translation. So this woman right here from Brazil, Brazil, decided to jet a plane all the way to Laban and then on the way back, she couldn't get on the flight. For two reasons. One, because a COVID test was not taken. So of course, therefore, that was a case of where they couldn't get on the flight anyway, because a family could not go on it without a COVID test. But also at the same time, because she was not allowed in economy and she was told that you have to go to first class because that is the only place you can go and sit down and have some space for yourself because of your freaking size. And then she decides to come out and have this complaint about how they were being horrible, about how they were fat shaming her and saying, hey, you can't be in economy because you're too big, you're too fat. I mean, listen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say this, is it fair to book a flight, pay for your seat and then happen to be sitting next to someone that makes it uncomfortable for you to enjoy your flight because that person is taking up too much room because of their size? Is that fair? No, it's not. No one should ever be on a plane and feel claustrophobic. No one should ever be on a plane and feel like I can't move. No one should be on a plane and feel like I can't even speak up because I'll get called out for speaking my piece. At the end of the day, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I am concerned, I don't care if you're an influencer or not. If you have made the choice, the choice to eat food and keep eating food and keep eating food and you get the idea, so you get to a point where you are now obese. You cannot expect everybody else around you to cater to your needs because you are not disabled by birth. In fact, you are not even disabled. You can still walk, you can still do your things. So therefore you can easily lose a couple of pounds. So therefore you wouldn't have these issues when jetting on a freaking plane to go to wherever you're going to. Fair enough, the flight on the way there had no issues, but I'm assuming Maybe the circumstances were different. I don't know. But to be honest with you, I think it's important that the airline took a stance. They said, hey man, or hey woman, you need to upgrade your seat because we're not having someone else on that plane be uncomfortable because of your size. And at the end of the day, I find it so interesting how someone and some people in this world can eat so much food, gain so much weight, and then expect the rest of the world to cater them. You have made that choice. Now, don't even get me started. Of course, there are people medically, 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 medically who have issues and struggles with losing weight. But it's funny though, because you see, there's two sides of the coin. When it comes to that excuse, 
that is using about medicals. Two sides of a coin, there are people who have the same conditions, but they're able to go to the gym or able to go for a walk or able to go to whatever activities they're doing. And they will put an extra, extra work to make sure that they never get to a stage where they are obese. They will make sure they do what they can to try and stay at a weight that is healthy enough so they can still be considered for other people and for themselves, most importantly. But then on the other side of the coin, yeah, the ones that use that medical com com complications as a reason to why I cannot lose weight. And it's funny because you say you can't lose weight because you're medical condition, but yet you're still sitting and eating food. No exercise, just eating food. It's an addiction. It's an addiction. Okay, that's nice. Everybody has an addiction as well, but everybody has the ability to try and tame their, their, their addiction. You can go to class. You can go to a therapist. You can go to a group setting. There's so many things that you can do. But anyone has got an addiction to anything. I've got an eating disorder. Okay, that's nice. I know people with eating disorders. But fun fact. Most people that are in the bodybuilding world are actually have an eating disorder. They actually train and work hard because they know that they love food. So what they do is they do the whole calories, calories out thing. Calories in, calories out. So there is no excuse, no medical excuse, no diagnosis excuse. So at the end of the day, she has made the choice to be obese, morbidly obese. So therefore, you have to pay the consequences of being obese. And that is if you can't fit in an economy seat, you got to upgrade and pay the price. It's as simple as one, two, three. Because imagine if there was a world where they say, hey, we're going to have a section for just obese people on the plane. How would that make other people feel? I'd be like, raw, so you get all that space and I've still got to be here and you're paying the same price as me? Are you mad? Are you mad? Imagine that though. Imagine that. You know, it's funny, you know, when you go for a tattoo, for example, they say to me, because you go to the gym, you've got quite big arms, there's more to, spit, to, to, to fill, so probably going to be more work, more ink, so you probably have to pay more than that guy. I'm like, okay, you know what, cool, I get it. I respect it. But you see, if an obese person he, he, he hears that, they'll be like, oh, so because I'm oversized, you're telling me I've got to pay. No, that's just how it works. I may not be obese, but I've been through a smidge of an experience of what it's like to pay more because of a... <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep it there. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it quiet right there. I'm going to let you get in the comment section. Do you believe that she had the right to complain? To complain about the fact that the airline refused to let her go and jet on the plane on economy because of her size and said to her, listen, the only way you get on this flight is if you pay the extra money to go on to first class. Do you think the airline was correct? Or do you think they were outrageous? They were wrong. They were out of line. If you do, Hmm, I question you. But hey, let me know what you're thinking down below, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll talk about it. We are done and we are out. Peace.